would you like to um, tell me what makes you want to take courses or have a career in social work or human services? Um, hi, Boomer. Um, sure, I'll tell you. Uh, actually, I've probably gone through three different uh, majors and I'll try change, kept changing my topic, but I settled with human services because um, what I want to do is I just want to work with the homeless and uh, I am retired. So I've already been through um, working in the hospital in the administrative area. Um, but um, I just would like to work with the homeless and there's so many areas to work with there. Human services was is interesting to me. It's similar to sociology and that was part of my backup. Um, I, I've enjoyed some, I've probably taken almost every human service class there is and probably one of my favorite for the meditation one <laughs> that I enjoyed. Um, uh, I just, you know, it, it tells you a lot about people and how to get along, not just with, um, I mean, I don't think you're too old to um, learn about what to say, what not to say, how your body language affects people. And um, I just find it really interesting. I like human service. <laughs> Incredible. And, and you know, you're, you're never too old to stop learning, right? And Absolutely. I think, I think that's a great uh, characteristic to have. Um, and it seems like you're a lifelong learner yourself, having taken many different classes and courses and kind of really settling in here into this human services uh, field. Um, you mentioned that you specifically wanted to work with the homeless. Is there a specific reason or maybe event in your life that kind of uh, helped you steer yourself into that direction? Yes, actually there is. My church has a ministry that works with homeless people. We have, um, it slowed down somewhat during COVID. That scared a lot of people. For about a year, we were shut down, unfortunately, because um, we still had several people that were kind of coming and we provide um, portable showers. We give away numerous clothes and the clothes have to be clean and nice, decent and offer people to be able to immediately wear. We give free breakfast, free lunch, and we have actual social workers on the scene to help anybody with um, health care or mental care. Because it seems like um, mental health can affect you really being out on the streets. And, uh, um, just, and people come and they cut hair and things like that. And I just really enjoyed it. I found a lot out about so many homeless, most people are homeless, of course, um, not by choice, but because of their situations and uh, perhaps they were laid off and couldn't find another job or um, uh, all kind of numerous things, families breaking up and um, mental health. And there's just so many reasons why people are out there. And, uh, and it's unfair for people to be, I hate it when people are judgmental of, of people that are homeless and in those situations and all too. And um, they, they all have stories to tell. I remember somebody was, um, he lost one of his legs uh, because of diabetes and, uh, and he was going to court back and forth to get long-term disability. We have, um, uh, what do you call it? Vans that bring people from shelters and trying to find where there are new shelters opening up. So um, their stories just are interesting. They just, um, many a times are just looking for someone to talk to, to um, as they're looking for how to get out of their situations. Absolutely. And, and, you know, you said that, you know, everyone has their own story and that's absolutely right. And it sounds like you know, the path that you're on right now is going to be able to help with your story and kind of reaching the goals of helping these individuals that are facing housing insecurity find, you know, success. Um, and I think that, you know, should you continue on to get your degree in human services or social work, then you'll blend right in with those social workers that are there to really, you know, help administer the support and the resources that those individuals need. Um, so, as it relates to working with these, you know, specific clientele, um, what have you learned, you know, possibly from the textbook or the quizzes that might um, be transferable or useful in working with this population? Um, well, 
at another time <laughs> okay she gave me so much i was like oh yeah no <laughs> that was great and i i liked being able to hear what how you would respond to that um i'm really glad that you went first and i think that you're a boomer i think that you're a good example for our class <laughs> yeah sometimes people don't like it when you put them out there but what I liked about your style is that you really use reflecting. Even though you ask questions, you really use reflecting and that shows that you are listening. And I like the, the ways that you showed you were attentive. I mean, it's one thing to be attentive with your body language and your eye contact and your smile and your nodding. But in addition to that, um, you, you would sometimes go back to things she had said, you know, like a minute or to a go, like you kept tying things back in, you brought her back to talking about the homeless population and then asked her why it was she wanted to work with that population. You listened to her when she told her story. And then while she was telling her story, she, she explained the different educational pursuits that she's had and the different, and the journey that she's been on. And you reflected back to her something she said about it's never too old to stop learning, which is like a reflection and also an encouragement. Yes. You told her that you think that she seems like she's a lifelong learner, which was also a reflection and an encouragement. And you, you have reflected to her about her statement that everyone has their own story. And then you tied it back to her to kind of say, and pretty much without saying it exactly this way, you said, and you have your own story too, that your story is in the making. And so that validates her as a person without patronizing her because you're just really saying things back to her that she already said. It's not like you're, you know, making it up. Mm -hmm. So that's really effective, really appreciate seeing that. 